What's up, y'all? It's Yellowbone, the neighborhood customizing man. I just wanted to drop in and show y'all this quick little hack that I have. It is an auto digitizing hack that you can do in Chroma Lux. I don't know that you can do this in any of the other Chromas. Um, don't know that you can do this in any other programs either, but in Chroma Lux, you can do this. I'm sure there's other ways in um, the advanced uh, programs of things like Hatch and stuff like that. I'm not familiar with those at all, though. So here in Chroma Lux, what we're going to do, first of all, I want to show you all this website, designbundles.net. Now on this website, whenever you purchase um, a design, you have commercial rights to it, so you can use it and sell the designs all you want with no worry about anything coming back on you. Um, and there's some really cool designs. I, I, I'm in here looking at Mother's Day designs right now. And I've got some picked out, but I want to show y'all that whenever you download, ooh, that's cute, Nana. Look, I'm going to have to make my mother-in-law something now. So check this out. Now, when you create an account, you get credits. You see how this says one plus, one plus credit instead of a price? You've got credits whenever you create an account so that you can, you can download these for free. But also, you can buy these packages for close to nothing couple dollars a few dollars and they're really cool packages so let's do this one real quick I just want to show you whenever you download it it'll show you that you have commercial use allowed and it'll tell you if, if commercial use, use isn't allowed whenever you download it but I haven't found any that aren't allowed yet so I'll go ahead and download and I've already got some designs downloaded in here I'm that mom Mother's Day I'm gonna start with I'm that mom so all you have to do is SVG file this only works with the SVG file or it works best with the SVG file because when you drag it into Chroma Lux it's already going to be broken up into sections um, if there's multiple colors, it's already going to be broken up into colors. You'll see that whenever we do the Nano one real quick. But just drag that SVG. Oh, I gotta grab it. Come on now. Hold on. I don't wanna. I don't wanna work with me. Ain't it crazy? Anytime you're trying to do something, there it is. Alright, so I drop it in there and it's automatically going to go in. Now, the trick to these, this I am up here, that's going to digitize just fine. What you want to do first is break it apart. Well, no, I'm not going to break it apart first. I'm going to convert it. Um, but why you want to break it apart, you'll see. I'm going to convert it to a complex fill. You see how it's stretching across to each other because it's all one piece right now. So it's wanting to jump over, keep stitching, jump over, keep stitching. But I right click it and get this drop down again. And I break it apart. And now it's going to do them each letter at a time. All right, so now you've got your design into pieces. And you can go in, you can change your start and finish point with this tool over here. And your angle line as well and you can play with those and get them right you know you kind of want a uniform run nothing too crazy now that's already digitized that I'm um, now that that is not digitized yet that is still artwork over here as you can see this other one's complex fills but I want to show you on this mom because this has multiple layers you see how it's got the outline it's got the inside it has no fill at all whenever I first go and convert this it's gonna have all the lines and everything because it's all one piece right now right so what you want to do is break apart so that it's all into different pieces but then look at that look how it all just does it in different slots like that even the holes all of your holes turn into fills so you really don't have your picture anymore 
let me undo all of that that I just did and in order go back here and break apart again in order to get it back to looking how it needs to look I'm going to select all of these files all of those complex fields that I just created I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to combine and when you combine them all now you've got it back to normal and actually I don't want to combine those holes in the middle I don't want those combined with the rest so I'm actually going to go back and find those holes it's just those two I'm going to group them and then I'm going to combine the rest of them combine everything else so now I'm not stretching across in the middle of a stitch so it will do those fills separate and ungroup that don't need it grouped and then you can go in here do the same thing pull your start to one side finish to one side and boom that is now digitized this little box up here shows you 3d form what it looks like so I've got the mom digitized I've got the I'm digitized I can click on the that right click and convert it to a complex fill you'll see that it's all stuck together I want to break it apart now the middle hole in my A disappeared so I'm going to take all of those and I am going to get, combine them, right click, combine, and boom. Oh wait, no. I just want to combine the A and its piece. Sorry. The A and its whole piece. Combine those and it will give me back that A. Get this little squiggly line convert to a complex fill and you have to be on this selection where you can resize you have to be on that selection to right click and choose your convert if you're in this selection to change your angle lines and your start and finish and transform the shape you are not going to see the same drop down it's not the same drop down. You might be confused. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking on it. It's not the same drop down. You got to be in this selection where you can change sizes and everything. Right click and that's where you can convert. So this file I just converted into a DST pretty much into an embroidery file, a digitized file in just a few minutes. So this is a really easy way for you to digitize designs that are pre-made as long as they're an SVG file. Let's say I go back in here, go to this Bless Nano one. Drag it, and you can just drag this SVG file over whatever you've got it in now. Because it's going to create a whole new page. All right, ooh, this one's interesting. All right, so I go here. That's going to be my blessed. I think I'm going to convert that into a steel stitch. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it still doesn't look bad. I could go here and change that to 1.5. This is the width of your steel right here. A steel is just like a straight stitch. And you kind of see your holes a little better without it so thick. You could also go back and I can convert it into a run stitch. So now it's going to look exactly like how it was on the run stitch. This is your length of each stitch in the design you'll get a better curve whenever you shorten those millimeters in that length and you can go in and just each color convert I want to do these I feel like I should do them all different complex fill let's say complex fill like this one's really easy 
It's just going to let me convert them all because it's already broken up. Sometimes it does all the legwork for you. Sometimes you got to do what I did in that other one and do the leg, leg work yourself. But either way, it's easy leg work, right? But look how easy this one is. I'm just flying through this. Complex foot. Boom. Hit my little 3D button. I can see how it looks. And without even doing any edits, that's a pretty good file right there. Without even doing any edits on a flat, this file is going to come out just fine on a flat. I'm going to actually go back here. Let's convert this to a complex fill. What happens? Yeah, see, then it goes and does all the stuff that it was doing last time. I'm going to go back. Convert to a steel again. There we are. Take this down to two millimeters, maybe. You can see the steel's running over itself. I bet that would actually look pretty good when it stitches out. That would look pretty cool. So there it is. That is a digitized file. You can go in and Mess with it how you see fit. Change your angle lines and everything. You don't have to keep it as a complex fill. This would probably look really good as a satin. These outline ones. So I can go in and change them all to a satin. Or I can keep them as complex fills. You can really just play with it how you want to. And that's it, y'all. That's my little auto digitizing hack using Chroma Lux. I hope it helps some of y'all out. Um, who spent a lot of money on Chroma Lux, but don't ever use it because you don't want to take the time to learn, um, which I don't blame you. It takes a lot of time, a lot of diligence, a lot of effort to learn how to digitize. So respect your digitizers, y'all. It's not easy, I promise you. But this here is easy. This here is easy. Check this out when you get a chance. See if y'all can make it happen.